What is up everybody here with another movie haul video for you today. I uh, picked up these titles off of Amazon thanks to uh, Blu-ray.com. Uh, you can find amazing deals there. Uh, lets you know all the the websites and hard brick and mortar stores and what prices they're at, at on certain movies and things of that nature if you look in the Blu-ray deals link. Uh, but all of these were under $10 which is why I snagged them up. A lot of them were ones I was looking for and were upgrades or were upgrades to something I already owned. But uh, the first thing I picked up was Johnny English Strikes Again. This was the only Johnny English movie I needed and then I have all three of them. So when I saw this drop under $10, I had to pick it up, especially since it was on Blu-ray. Uh, the first one and the third one were good. This is the second one, I believe. Uh, and they're good just for slapstick comedies, you know, and they don't try too hard to force it either. It's just kind of subtle, which I like. So looking forward to watching this one. Uh, then I have a 4K Steelbook for The Fast and the Furious. I had to pick this up. This was only $9.99. But yeah, it was a Steelbook and I uh, wanted to upgrade Fast and Furious to 4K since I... I watch this almost every year, this entire franchise. There's certain franchises I always usually go back and watch once a year. Fast and Furious is one of them. So have uh, this one on DVD. So this is a definite upgrade because I also get the Blu-ray with it and the 4K. So very happy to have this one. Uh, then I got Beast with uh, Idris Elba. This trailer for this movie, it was kind of a fly under the radar movie kind of thing. But then when I saw the trailer, it actually looked very interesting. And I do like him as an actor. So I wanted to pick this up and check it out. And since it was under $10, I was like, I, I'm i going to grab it. Uh, let me know if you've ever seen this movie before, if I'm in for a disappointment or not. Uh, then I got a Bruce Willis movie, which I'm trying to collect all of his work called Survive the Game, and it's him and Chad Michael Murray. Uh, I like Chad Michael Murray as an actor as well, so uh, I know it's a straight to, straight to DVD release or whatever, but uh, I'm still hoping it's a fun watch. Uh, I'm hoping it's not one of those Bruce Willis movies where he's in it for like five minutes and that's it. I know, you know, with his aphasia diagnosis, a lot of these movies were smaller parts for that reason he was trying to hide his diagnosis. But uh, hoping that uh, that's not the case with this one. Uh, then I picked up Anthropoid. Uh, looked interesting. Killian Murphy, uh, great actor. Uh, Jamie Dornan, don't really know too much about him. But I did see the trailer to this movie and it looked very interesting. So I wanted to pick it up and when I saw it drop to uh, under 10 bucks for a brand new Blu-ray... Uh, I wanted to, uh, wanted to check it out. And then lastly, this was a steal. This was only $3. And that's all eyes on me, the, uh, untold story of Tupac. Uh, I was a big fan of Notorious. It was an amazing movie. So I've been wanting to check this one out and it's really hard to find. And then when I saw it on, uh, Amazon for super cheap, I didn't even have to, uh, didn't even have to think twice about picking this one up. But uh, very super psyched to watch this one. Uh, I don't know if it'll be better than Notorious or not. I don't think this is the same guy playing Tupac who played Tupac in Notorious. But uh, still have high hopes for this movie. Uh, comments down below if you've ever seen it before. But uh, that does it for this movie haul. If you like content like this, please like and subscribe. Your support is much appreciated. I am also over on Letterboxd. The link to that is in the profile description of this channel. Otherwise, until next time, guys.